So there are four ways to keep on moving even when you want to give up. Basically, these four ways, these four things that you can do are things that I personally have learned from listening to the audiobook Can't Hurt Me by David Goggins and listening to all of basically of David Goggins' interviews over the years. And these are like the four ways, the four things that have really impacted me the most that has helped me move forward even when I haven't wanted to. So the first way is to realize that no one is coming to save you. You have to take responsibility for your life's circumstances. And a lot of people don't like to hear this kind of message, but if ultimately you want to reach some kind of outcome, if you want success, if you want to achieve, if you want to have great health, if you want to have great wealth, if you don't currently have those things, then you are responsible because there are laws to this universe. And one of the biggest ones is the law of sowing and reaping. So basically what you put in, eventually you will get out. So if you don't like what's currently in your bank account, it's up to you to change it. Don't rely on the government, don't rely on other people, don't let other people take responsibility of your life, don't be at the mercy of other people. If you truly want to change something in your life, then you have to be the one that does it. The moment you realise that no one is coming to save you and you are completely responsible for your life is when you can start taking action and start taking control. That is when you go from a victim to a victor. If you're enjoying this video so far, then please leave a like on it and please do subscribe. Thank you so much. So the second thing I learned from David Goggins is being comfortable is actually really uncomfortable. So basically this means to feel better about yourself, you need to go out and do whatever it is that you need to do. You can't procrastinate. Procrastination, especially in my own life, I found has made me feel much more worse about myself than if I actually went out and did the things that I need to do. I am most at peace with myself when I have done basically a full day of doing what I know that I need to do. And days where I feel absolutely awful about myself is when I have done the exact opposite of that and I've completely procrastinated or I've procrastinated on a few things. But if I've done absolutely everything on my to-do list, if I've done everything in my power to have the best day possible and to accomplish the most I possibly can, that's when I feel the most happy. That's when I feel the most free. And it may seem like, oh, if you're doing all of these things, then obviously you don't have a lot of time. But actually when I'm doing those kinds of things, I don't feel restricted. I don't feel like I'm a slave or anything. I don't feel bad about myself. I feel really good about myself. I feel by taking ownership of my life, by taking responsibility for my life, by being disciplined, actually equals to a lot more freedom and it actually makes me feel so much more at peace with myself. And what made me realize this was being comfortable was actually really uncomfortable. Coming to that realization made me want to move forward even on days when I didn't want to move forward, even on days when I didn't want to take action. Taking action feels so much better than procrastinating. If you are hoping to find more wealth in your life, if you're hoping to find more happiness in your life, I highly recommend that you watch this video on the five keys to wealth and happiness. So the third way to move forward when you want to give up that I learned from David Goggins is if you've done it once, then you can do it again. And this is basically David Goggins is like cookie jar concept. So the cookie jar is basically making a list, whether that's a mental list or an actual list, of all the times when you've done something incredibly hard. So it could be like um, beating procrastination one day. Perhaps you did a really intense workout. Perhaps you was able to create an amazing result that you've you never thought was possible for yourself. Perhaps it was something really simple like standing up to a bully. But basically, if you make this mental list or an actual list on all the times that you've done really tough things, basically when you are on days where you feel like you don't really wanna do anything, on days when you want to give up, if you remember those times when you've been absolutely on point, when you've done extremely hard things, that's what's gonna help you push through. That's what's gonna help you remember who you are and how much that you are actually capable of. So basically, if you've done something difficult once, you can do it again. I remember a couple of weeks ago, there was a day that I did absolutely everything on point, like everything I did would just seem to work. And I thought to myself days later when I felt tired, when I didn't really want to do it, 
hey, you know what? I had a really great day the other day. I managed to get so much done and everything just flowed. If I've done that once, then I can do it again. And that's something that really, really helps me on days when I want to give up and I don't want to push forward. Remember who you are. Remember that you've gone through extremely difficult things. And if you've done difficult things once, you can do it again. If you've had an amazing day before, you can do it again. If you've achieved an amazing result before, you can do it again. All you have to do is just copy what you did the last time. One of the ways that you can actually succeed in life and get the same results as someone who has succeeded is actually by modeling them, by finding out what they did and doing the same things and ultimately getting the same results. So the fourth way to keep on moving forward when you want to give up, that I learned from David Goggins, is basically having serious words with myself when I do want to procrastinate, when I don't want to move forward, when I do want to give up. So David Goggins talks about the accountability mirror. Basically the accountability mirror is basically having serious words with yourself and getting post-it notes and putting it on the mirror so you can see whatever it is that you want to achieve. And one of the things that David Goggins said that he did was whenever he did something that he didn't like, he put it on the accountability mirror so he could get it right the next time. And it also put his goals on the accountability mirror. So like if he wanted to lose a certain amount of weight or something like that, he would put it on the accountability mirror. So having serious words with yourself and having these written goals that you can see can really, really help you push forward when you want to quit, when you want to give up. And sometimes you need to be brutally honest with yourself. So um, like about a year ago, like this time last year, I was quite overweight, like I wasn't a healthy person. Like I wasn't obese, but I wasn't healthy, right? And I've lost like about two to three stone in the last year because of David Goggins and because of being brutally honest with myself. I had to not be so nice to myself actually. And you know, sometimes I had to say to myself, look, you're chubby, <laughs> right? You don't look good, you look unhealthy, you're not thin, you're not lean, you're unhealthy, you have rolls, you have flab, get rid of it. You don't need that on your body. You are chubby, you're a little chub chub. That's something I would say to myself, right? Now it's brutal and it can sound a bit mean like I'm bullying myself, but it made me start losing weight. It made me start taking action because at this current time in our life, as David Goggins would probably agree with me, you know, we are really soft. You know, we don't want to hear the hard things about ourselves, but sometimes you need to be brutally honest with yourself to be able to change. Do, now, do I mean that you'd be horrible to yourself so that you feel bad about yourself? No, but say whatever you can, basically, to yourself to make you take action. Being brutally honest with myself really worked. Calling myself a chub chub, right, really worked in me losing weight. And now perhaps you might need a different kind of reinforcement. I'm only giving you what has worked for me. Do I think you should use that method as well? Not if it's not going to put you into action. But if saying something mean to yourself is going to put you into action, you should do it. You need to hold yourself accountable. You need to get, have a hard look at yourself in the mirror and say to yourself, look, you're not getting the results you want here. You're not doing this. You're not uh, succeeding in that. You need to be very honest with yourself so you can take action and stop BSing yourself and stop lying to yourself and saying that you're fine when you really are not fine at all. Being brutally honest with myself gave me drive and it stopped me from giving up. It stopped me from procrastinating. It stopped me from not moving forward. It stopped me from not taking action anymore. Being brutally honest with yourself is very powerful if you use it. I hope you enjoyed these four ways to keep moving forward when you want to procrastinate, when you want to give up. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch.